a group that lost 15 games and then a group that won 15 games and I think that says a lot about what they've meant to the program. These girls had to take a leap of faith and for that you're indebted to that group. They've been the reason that we've been able to transform into what we are. It's pretty simple. They were easily the best four years of my life. The last four years have meant a lot to me mostly because of how we have changed as a program. You know, even though their freshman year, um, the team wasn't successful, um, they had qualities that we didn't have. Um, their commitment, their work ethic, um, their performance on the field was still good for freshmen in the ACC, which is tough. When they could show all that stuff through a trying season, I, I knew, I knew we got it right with them. You know, we were 0-10 in the ACC, basically competing to not be the worst team. We came into NC State knowing that we wanted to build this program, and we didn't come in with high expectations of winning every game right off the bat. Going from that to making it to the Sweet 16 my sophomore year, I would have never have guessed we could have done that with just another class coming in. It's been the turnaround of these last four years. It's just been a really special thing to be a part of and to be able to look back on that in 10 or 15 years and realize that we were the start of a new era in this program. Amel has been just a consistent, solid center back that we were able to, to recruit and bring in um, to help solidify the back line. Taylor is someone that never got any accolade. She did everything we needed in the midfield. She was a player that could go play center back and did in our run to the Sweet 16. She's a selfless kid that we would never have the success we've had without Taylor. When healthy, you know, Max had injuries throughout her career, but when she was healthy, she was a great target forward, could score goals, um, defended really well. And it's hard to find a forward that can play on both sides of the ball. And that was something that we really wanted, and Max definitely gave us that. Hannah's been a captain since her freshman year. And besides being a great leader, I mean, just a stud defender. She's strong, she's athletic. She's left-footed, which is a premium. She gives you everything you ever wanted in a defender. When you build a team, you have to have a goalkeeper. The goalkeeper is such an important part of, of any team. To, to get Sid to be as you know, important as she was for you know, four years, you hate to see her leave because it's a hard position to fill. And, she took it to another level that'll make it really tough for the next person to fill her shoes. Definitely the Carolina game. I think that was our first like huge win that we had ever like we had had in the last 20 years as a program. It was just really awesome to see us um, beat UNC on their home field 1-0. It was my sophomore year when we traveled to Minnesota and no one really expected anything of us. We were some fluke team. We were against a team that won their conference, and we were the underdog, again, you know, coming into that game. And I just remember it was literally like, we had played like we had nothing to lose. We weren't expected to go as far as we did, and we shocked the world that year. And We beat a top 10 team in penalty kicks, so that was pretty wild. They belong in the ACC. Interesting exchange their freshman year in a game that wasn't going well. Um, and they'll know, it, they'll know what I'm talking about, but they definitely belong in the ACC.